Birmingham is now known as a new foodie city and moms just don't have time to cook. So if you're looking for some local down home Southern cuisine, then pull up a chair for Dining Out with Comedian Joy. That's right, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes us to some of the best places to eat in Birmingham and its surrounding cities. So whether you're on 2059 East or West or 65 North or South or 459 or somewhere in between, Dining Out with Comedian Joy is about to tip your tummy and make those taste buds water. So if you like your meat three in a brick and mortar or in a gas station, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes you to some of the best spots in town. Well, it's no secret that at the beginning of every year, we all want to eat good because we want to look good and feel good. But when it comes to your food options, you don't want any bland food that tastes like crap. You want some good food. And for that, if you want your food good and healthy, you gotta make your way here to Act and Roll and see my friends and heat and eat healthy. What if there was a way to eat all of your favorite comfort foods? I'm talking about stuff like Salisbury steak with smashed potatoes, and you gotta have that mushroom gravy. How about pecan crusted chicken, chili, spaghetti, and even pot roast? What if you could eat those things and they're not only healthy, taste amazing like mama made it, and it was already cooked? That sounds like heaven on earth. And that is why you have got to make a stop today to my friends over at Heat and Eat Healthy. These are a take on food that people generally like. It's just a healthier version of them. The lunch bowls are an easy option to give people on the go something to eat where they can take it and it gives them all their essential vitamins and nutrients in one. We wanted to come up with vegan options for our clients that may, that are thinking about going vegan. Uh, and then who doesn't like Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes? It's just a different version. We're using ground turkey instead of using ground beef. We made our own smashed potatoes. Instead of using the traditional butter and sour cream, we don't compromise on the taste. It still is flavorful and very good. And of course, we have our green beans, which uh, have been sauteed with some pea shoots as well. All right, now Chef Rodney, all of this food looks amazing, but do you have fried chicken? Can you make your girl some healthy fried chicken? I can make you healthy fried chicken. It's, it's oven fried chicken. See, this is why you gotta come here to heat and eat healthy. That's right. So Rodney can make you look skinny as I get my fried chicken and some of this amazing other food that's served over here. Heat and Eat owner Cindy Holland created this company to save her life. I was on the same road, same path as my family members there. Borderline diabetic, blood pressure issues, and potential heart issues. But I know as a single mom that it's very difficult to watch what you eat and have a very active, healthy lifestyle. So this has really been a saving grace to me because I have lost weight since I started this. My blood pressure is down. I got my meat and my potatoes. <laughs> this is southern dish. That is. It's our Salisbury steak. Mmm. Okay. This great. Yes, it it's is. Everything. Yes. You can have gravy. Just just because you're eating healthy does not mean that you have to go without your gravy. Oh, this is the bomb. Is this mushrooms on top? Yes, it's the mushroom gravy. Oh my goodness. And this is the actual serving style? Yes. Oh, I'm going in on this right here. Y'all gonna turn on next week and say, where's the rest of Joy? She didn't disappear. I've been eating all this food that he needs. eating. I'm getting skinny, boy. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that is very flavorful. Good. I love this. And after the break, I'll tell you about the chili as well as Chef Rodney will make his famous oatmeal. Hey guys, it's Dr. Mia. And if you're having problems with low energy, low sex drive, decreased orgasm, night sweats, problems with sleep, problems with focus and memory, irritability and changes in your mood, even the joint pain and the belly fat, you should come and see me at Me Bella Wellness Center where I offer hormone replacement therapy and balance for women and men. It's Me Bella Wellness Center and I'm Dr. Mia. Make your appointment at MeBellaWellness.com. 
Before the break, I took you to a new meal prep company on Acton Road called Heat and Eat Healthy. They have excellent meal plans for paleo, vegan, and low-calorie meals. In addition, we also have a plan we call our low-carb, gluten-sensitive. The concept of Heat and Eat is quite simple. So, Cindy, you're telling me we just pop the top, eat the food, and then throw it away. When we come in heat, eat healthy, we'll have a full stomach and a clean kitchen. That's it, Joy. That's the whole idea. Now, that's another reason you need to make your way here to Acton Road, over here to Heat and Eat Healthy, good food, and a clean kitchen. Start off with our chili. Now, tell me about this chili's turkey, right? It is. Mmm. But does it taste like turkey? You know what? It might, but I cook with turkey all the time at home. Okay. This is good. It's very flavorful in here. Yes. It tastes like a regular fat. Chili. It tastes like it's all the flavors in here of the chili with the cumin in here with the, uh, the chili spices. This is very good. And of course, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Check out Chef Rodney's overnight oats. What we're gonna do is take the oats, put them in a bowl. Then we're gonna add, start with one cup of almond milk. Add a little bit of our in-house warm spice mix. Here we're just using a little honey, but you can also use stevia, or you can use sugar if you want to just use white or brown, which we're gonna mix these guys, mix this all together. About a one ounce scoop, for the next for texture. And for you, Joy, we're gonna add a little chocolate chips. Yes. And we're gonna add just a little more chocolate chips. Yes. Good. Don't you? I have a little sugar in here. Or maybe I need to eat this chocolate to give it a little sweet. That's what you do. Because it tastes like regular oatmeal. But I do love all these textures in here with the nuts. Well, oatmeal. Okay. Well, I gotta ask you, Rodney. Does bacon come with this oatmeal, sausage, or chicken? Any of those options are available for you if you choose the bacon. See, that is why I like Rodney. This is my dude over here. I'm gonna be the only fat person over here and he and eat trying to lose weight because I'm trying to mess up that portion size. But you got to check him out. Chef Rodney is amazing. Sin is amazing. They have so many lunch plans, breakfast plans, and dinner options for you to choose from. So get you some today. They're located here in Birmingham, right off Acton Road. They also have a number of grab-and-go casseroles with the calorie information on it. All you have to do is heat and eat. this year. It's called Dine Magic City Week and that's where at least 20 restaurants throughout Birmingham will have special menus with special prices. And one of them that's participating is one of my favorites, Little Savannah, located right here in Forest Park. You see, when you come to the preview party to get a sample of some of these amazing restaurants, Chef Cliff, the chef here, he, he's going to do a live cooking demo. And if you haven't had Chef Cliff's food, you've done yourself a disservice. But when you come to All South Appliance from 5 to 8 for the preview party, you get to see him live and in action. Also, some of the proceeds from that event will benefit the Community Food Bank of Central Alabama. You get the chance to win some fabulous prizes like some KitchenAid appliances and some Samsung gadgets. I know you all want that. But right now, you're probably saying, well, Joy, since Chef Cliff is such an amazing chef, what is he making? I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you, I tasted one of his dishes with this homemade raw pasta. It's going to blow you away. So check out this dish that he's making for Dine Magic City Week. And another amazing restaurant, which is one of my favorites, that's participating in Dime Magic City Week is Little Savannah. 
and I'm here with the iconic award-winning chef, Con. Cliff Hope. You are. I used to read about you in magazines before I even got on food. You know, the greatest aspiration I ever had in life is just to be a bottom dweller, not iconic. Oh no, you're iconic. <laughs> you win awards, you're known for your crab cakes, I know you for your beets and all your fresh foods, but for Dime Magic City Week, you're doing a pasta dish that smells amazing. We're doing a homemade pasta dish. Mm. So, uh, bolognese is classic, classic Italian dish. We follow the tradition as well with this, where we use beef, veal, and pork in our bolognese. It's essentially a meat sauce. Um, if you look to all the pasta, so we hand roll our pasta too. So this is a pappardelle pasta that we've made, which is just And is beautiful. that why it's so, so tender? Well, it is, yeah. So, you know, if you buy box pasta, which... Um, which the kind I buy. The kind, yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> um, box pasta takes about 10 minutes to cook, and uh -huh. it never quite gets the proper consistency and texture. Fresh pasta, when I roll this, and I, I roll it and cook it fresh, and so it takes about a minute and a half. Once it hits the water, it takes about a minute and a half for this to come together and, and be done. Then we just it'll gently ease it right back into the warm sauce in a, in a pan, heat it up, let it draw in a little bit of the goodness, <clears throat> and uh, finish cooking just a touch, and then go right to the plate with it. Not only is this pasta real tender, but the flavors that is in this sauce. Mm -hmm. I know this restaurant is fancy. I really just want to get on down in it because this is fancy. just that good. There's nothing fancy about it. This is just the way it should be. Nothing fancy. It's, it's very flavorful. It's not, nothing is overpowering, but the way that all these spices come mm -hmm. together. The key, to, the key to anything is simplicity. Uh, when I do this dish, we do, we do all, we, we brown all the meats. We add our basic ingredients, carrot, celery, onion. Um, I come back with a little beef stock, chicken stock, and then I, I add tomato, basil, garlic, and that is about it. Wait, all of that is in this one dish? Mm -hmm. And that is why your food tastes good and mine don't? Because I'm not adding all that stuff. One dish, um, about two or three things in 15 minutes. <clears throat> so that's why I have to come here and hang out at Little That's it, that's it. That's why I'm looking out for you. And I appreciate it. You know, and the other thing that I love when I come here is that a lot of your stuff, the majority of it is fresh. You grow a lot of your stuff right in the back of the bus. Well, not, not, we don't really utilize a lot of the stuff that we grow. I grow primarily just to kind of keep myself in check with the season. So, for example, right now we're growing mustard greens at home. Uh, we have a variety of herbs that, you know, of course, the cold snap kind of takes its toll on everything. Now, do you put fat backs in your mustard greens? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm oh, talking yeah. about. Now, I, you know, it's funny because I do I do a variety of things when I do mustard, collard, or turnip greens, <clears throat> or kale. We've done kale. Before. Yes, and it and is kale, amazing here. There are some people who do not like meat product in their kale. Mm. So I will actually use um, a variety of things to try to introduce that little smoky, bacony effect to it. Mm -hmm. But uh, normally what I do is when I make kale for the for the masses, I do a little fat back in there. I'll actually take ham hock and boil it. Did y'all hear him say ham, ham hock? That's why this is my favorite chef right here. He, <laughs> and, you talking about kind of and for Thanksgiving, I do turkey. I do turkey necks, smoked turkey necks. So you want to be skinny for Thanksgiving? Not me. For I'm them? Just, for them. Oh, okay. Yeah. They got to fit. Hey, I don't have to fit into a little size dress. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, the the ham hocks are actually out of Leeds, Alabama. I really? So it's still yeah. again. You're cooking local. Exactly. So I boil the ham hocks and and make a stock out of them, a broth, and then I add that back into the greens as I simmer them, and that's it. Cool. So you have this dish, and I think you're gonna be offering dessert for Dime Magic City Week. We have a long list of things that we're gonna do. Exactly, so we and they need choices. to go to the website exactly. so they can see the full menu and come here right here in Forest Park. Exactly. And come here and get this amazing dish. And guess what, when you order it, get me one, because this is too good. When yeah. this camera go off, I'm gonna dive in. We may have to have a two for one deal. When you buy one, Joy gets one. I think that would be great. <laughs> so we'll see you right here at Little Savannah for Dime Magic City Week. Let's dig in, Chef. Do it. This is great over here. I think I just stole the biggest piece of pasta off. Hey guys, it's Dr. Mia. And if you're having problems with low energy, low sex drive, decreased orgasm, night sweats, problems with sleep, problems with focus and memory, irritability and changes in your mood, even the joint pain and the belly fat, you should come and see me at Me Bella Wellness Center where I offer hormone replacement therapy and balance for women and men. It's Me Bella Wellness Center and I'm Dr. Mia. Make your appointment at MeBellaWellness.com. 
Now, I know you enjoyed that pasta dish by Chef Cliff and you're saying, Joy, I can't wait until January 26th through February the 3rd for Don Magic City Week so I can come and get some of that. But I also want to let you know what he has on his fall menu. You can come and get that today. So check this out. Chef Cliff Holt, the owner of Little Savannah here in Lake Forest, has been winning numerous awards for his crab cakes. Well, now that the season is changing, he's getting ready for his fall menu, and it is simply amazing. Now, he gave me this rose as part of my dish, but the food I ate was so good, I need to give the rose back to him. This is the check Chef Cliff Holt won at Breaking Bread, which is a local food competition for his award-winning crab cakes. Now his food is so good, I stayed in his historic restaurant sampling menu items for four hours on a Friday night. I had everything from fried Brussels sprouts to his decadent desserts. Now part of his fall menu, you can taste some of his delicious grilled vegetables that's grown in his garden right behind the restaurant. He even made me become a fan of Beats, better known as Beats by Cliff. Everything that we have here is, is uh, either raw or partially cooked. So cauliflower, for example, this makes for a beautiful, beautiful dish. So I'm using the, the whole head of cauliflower, a sliver of the head of cauliflower that we're going to roast and char. So it's like a, the main mainstay of the plate. Walnuts to add a little bit of nutty crunch to to the dish and flavor as well and what I've done is I've roasted the beets with a little bit of vinegar some fresh thyme olive oil salt and pepper so to that I'm gonna add my little bit of roasted onion extending a flavor I'm gonna add our carrots to it now these carrots have been roasted uh, I toss them in a little bit of olive oil salt pepper put them in the oven for about 15 minutes or so when they come out I let them cool and then now after all the vegetables are sauteed, Chef Cliff begins to plate it up so I can have a healthy meal. With our uh, vegetables, a little drizzle of olive oil, a nice little mix. Uh, remember we have our thyme in there. We can uh, season this with a touch of salt. For the mustard greens. These are little baby greens that so I So I'm just, just gonna eat this raw green. Eat the raw green, yeah. It's so, not cooked, it doesn't have any fat back on There's it. nothing. No uh, ham hocks. Nope, nope, and I'm nope. just going to eat it. So your smaller greens you can eat. Once they get bigger, you want to be, uh, you, you definitely want to cook them. Just but, eat it like just this. It now like you that. saw I did dip it yeah. in the marinade. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So mustard greens taste like mustard. They're hot, you're going to get some fire, it goes away. It's a good heat. That's like horseradish. Yeah. But when you incorporate that into another bite of the cauliflower, the carrot, the beet, it really rounds the flavor out dramatically. I'm just going to eat the cooked stuff. Cooked okay, stuff. I'm going to stick right here. <laughs> I'm going to leave the greens to somebody else. Now, when you put some fat backs in this, then I'm coming to see you. Well, you know, I can do that. I got to try the beets by Cliff. because The beets by Cliff. I got to admit, I'm not a huge fan of beets. I understand. But I'm a huge fan of, of Cliff. I've been a huge converter of people to my beets. And you converted me to a number of foods. <laughs> so there's a sweetness. There's the acidity that you get a little bit of, but you still get the earthiness. You do, and you know what? If I had to eat beets, these are the best tasting beets. <laughs> Seriously, so that I've this. ever eaten. So, so you gotta make your way here to Little Savannah, get his fried <laughs> Brussels sprouts, this amazing um, fresh salad that he made, yeah. and the beets by Cliff. The beets by Cliff. I love it. Yeah. Ever want to grab that extra cup of coffee but worry you'll miss your bus? Not anymore. The Birmingham Jefferson County Transit Authority now has an app for that. Max My Stop is a new live tracking app you can download to your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Just click on the route to find your bus and arrival time. Of course, all Max buses have free Wi-Fi, and you can use Max My Stop to get trip link, route information, and schedules. It even sends text alerts for delays or route detours. So stop worrying. Download Max My Stop today. Thank you. 
Now Michael's Steak and Seafood is another restaurant that's participating in Dine Magic City Week. You see, not only are their steaks incredible, but their beef chips and their lamb chops. In fact, everything there is amazing. If you haven't been here to eat at Michael's, again, you have done yourself a disservice. They're even on my Eat, Drink, Ride food tour. But look at what they're serving up for Dine Magic City Week coming up January 26th through February 3rd. One of my favorite places to dine in Homewood is Michael's Steakhouse. You see, they not only make mouth-watering steaks, but they also make chicken. Look at what they're serving up for Dine Magic City Week. Besides the delicious food and the staff here at Michael's, one of my best friends is Chef Marcus. Now, Marcus, what are you serving for Dine Magic City Week? Well, today we have two of the things we're featuring. The first thing is a two-thirds choice cut of beef. It is a six-ounce filet. It's cooked on a charbroiled grill. It's fantastic. It's got a char flavor. Very juicy. It's being served with garlic mashed potatoes and asparagus. Mm. Uh, we also have a chicken piccata, which is hand-breaded chicken. Uh, Did you say chicken? You know that's my favorite thing. No, it's your favorite besides uh, fish. Yes. <laughs> but it's actually pan seared. Uh, we put a little lemon juice, a little white wine, some capers, make a sauce to go with it, serve it over brown butter pasta, and it also is served with asparagus and garlic mashed potatoes. All right, Joy, I know you love chicken, so yes. uh, why don't you let me know what it tastes like? Yeah, so chicken piccata has capers here, and it smells amazing in here. Mmm. 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 You did that right there. You know that? Sometimes food is so good, I can't even open my eyes. You did that, Marcus. Mmm. <laughs> was it good? It wasn't just good. This was great. I love how tender it was and all of this wine sauce that you have in here. Let me ask you do you have any more of that sauce in the back? I can make you some. That's what I'm talking about. That's why you gotta come and see my friend Marcus over here at Michael's. And listen, I can't wait to get down to these garlic mashed potatoes. Oh yes. I'm gonna say there's asparagus for later. That's gonna help me to get skinny. But right now, I'm about to taste that steak. So now that you tried the chicken, let's yes. try the number one thing, the filet. And this is what you guys are known for, the steaks. Man, that cut so easy. Oh man. Good. Yes, this thing is so juicy. Let me tell you, if you don't even have teeth in your mouth, you can eat this filet right here. That's how juicy and tender this is. Okay, so for people who may not want the garlic mash with their filet, you also have your amazing mac and cheese that can be an option. Oh yeah, definitely. Cheese grits, grilled vegetables. What? All of that with a filet? Yeah. I think I can just eat this by itself. <laughs> Now, if you want to try these amazing dishes, just go to my website, that's DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com, and click on the Dine Magic City Week tab and see what all Michael is offering. I gotta go and finish this filet and this glass of wine, y'all. You did that, Marcus. Yo, what's up? It's bruh man from the fifth flow. Just got through dining out with comedian Joy. I had a real good old fried okra sandwich. It was all that. If you're looking for an amazing, delicious, and inexpensive place for lunch, you have got to make your way here to Michael's in Soho, right here in Homewood. Let me tell you, the food that I had, it was so good, the only thing that was missing from my lunch plate was a blanket, because I was ready to take a nap. Michael's in Soho has been a Birmingham mainstay, but my memory of the steakhouse was an expensive restaurant with subpar food. Now that it has new owners, it has amazing food at great prices. Now this was my lunch plate a few weeks ago when I was there for a working lunch meeting and after eating this, I knew they had to be on the show. You see, every day for lunch, you can catch them making affordable, mouth-watering dishes like salads. You can even top salmon on your salad. Everyone loves burgers and the ever-popular hamburger steak. 
There were so many orders of the hamburger steaks going out when I was there on location that I had to ask the kitchen manager to whip up one for me. Uh, lunch time, probably the hamburger steak is one of our most popular. Uh, beef tips and rice, definitely uh, green chicken is fantastic. Uh, wonderful size, people love our collard greens, our green beans, uh, black eyed peas, purple whole peas. Uh, we have so many to choose from, it's just unreal. So. Probably the main focus is going to be the hamburger steak, which I'm going to do for you today. Uh, this patty is fantastic. We do it ourselves, we cut it ourselves, and we hand press them ourselves. We're actually going to put it in our Michael's House marinade and let it marinate before we put it on the grill. As you get it good and seasoned, put it on our grill. I'm going to put a weight on it. Kind of help keep the heat in, help it cook a little faster. And once the hamburger steak is cooked medium well, Marcus tops it off with some onions and some freshly cooked mushrooms. And you know I gotta have that gravy. And then he pairs it with two of my favorite sides, those good old Michael's collard greens and sweet potato casserole. So Joy, last time you had lunch with us, I know you had the fried catfish and you loved it. It was yes. fantastic. Yes. But this is actually gonna be better than the fried catfish. Really? Our hamburger steak is second to none. Man, let me try. I don't know, because that catfish, it was incredible. All I wanted my server to do was offer me a blanket. It was so good. You got the onions on it, fresh cooked mushrooms. All right, Jerry Marcus. Man, this gravy right here. This is everything. It's just our in-house gravy. We've been doing it so long, we're just good at it. Well, no, I think you're great at it because you can tell this meat that has been smoked on the grill. It has that nice grill taste. Then you got these onions and mushrooms on here. And there's something in here in this gravy. You got like old lady gravy on here. The grandmama been making gravy from scratch. Yeah. That's what this tastes like here. That's what we're going for. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm ready to go in. I see why this is like the number one deal here. If you thought that was good, you gotta try our collard greens and our yams. They're made in house every day. Boy, look at here. Woo! Yeah, y'all did this. This first Sunday right here. Hey, this is John with the spoon. I enjoy dining out with comedian Joy. Joy! Every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen, Joy. Eating up all the food. Well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. Now, be sure to tune in the rest of the week because I'll be showcasing more restaurants that are participating in Dime Magic City Week. Now, for a full list of those restaurants, you can go to my website. That's DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com. DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com. Now, be sure that you also follow me on social media as I'll be posting daily as restaurants are being added. So that's simply DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com on Facebook and on Instagram and Twitter. It's just Comedian Joy. Now, I want you to also come to the preview party. You get to hang out with me and 20 of my favorite restaurant friends. Again, that is January 22nd, Monday from 5 to 8. It will be at All South Appliance on Lakeshore Parkway you're going to get an opportunity to win some KitchenAid appliances as well as some Samsung electronics. Who don't want to win that? Because the proceeds from those items will be donated to the Community Food Bank of Central Alabama. So we're going to be doing a good thing to help the community and help our stomach to some good food while supporting our local restaurateurs. So you get to come and taste some of their amazing food. We're going to have music and a live cooking demo by none other than Chef Cliff Holt of Little Savannah. So you don't want to miss it and it's going to be epic. I look forward to seeing you there. Not only tell a friend, but bring a friend. And I want to thank you for continuing to watch and support these local restaurants. Because remember, the places that I take you, the food is so good, it make you want to lay down.